It's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, some would argue she is the most talented boxer, pure boxer to ever step foot inside the UFC octagon. She wants to be an MMA fighter, but her boxing is certainly her coach. Yes, her boxing is her coach, and it's shown in all the championships, right? She went into this UFC career a very well-rounded fighter, but it all starts with her base. It starts with the boxing base, the ability to move, the ability to find comfort in the head movement, the jab. It's almost like her head is going on a triangle. It's just never in the middle. So where you're throwing, her head's already off that, and as you throw and miss overextend, she's already countering and landing her attacks. It's truly, truly a sight to see whenever she's really, really feeling good in it. Well, she told us on Thursday she threw her first jab at four years old, but she has developed into a well-rounded MMA fighter. All of that said, boxing is still her bread. Oh, it's unbelievable. At four, she's throwing a jab. I'm telling you. Right? We're all talking about our kids learning to ride a bicycle. This young lady was in the gym getting better, learning how to fight under a, spec a specific set of rules that carry her all the way up to the UFC. She is a phenomenal fighter, but at the end of the day, it's her boxing that leads the dance. Head's never on the center line. She does a very good job of mixing up the target. Goes high, goes low. It's truly amazing to watch someone with such a specified skill set be this successful in mixed martial arts. Yeah, near perfect technique, which you will see here in a matter of moments. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of Milan, Italy, Silky. And now the producer your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Express. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making it fun. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we are back at Bell Center here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and D.C. This is the loudest MMA venue that I have ever been in in my life. John, I feel the same thing. UFC 124, when I walked out of the back with Josh Koscheck, I had never heard anything like the crowd in the Bell Center before he fought George St. Pierre. These people cheer, and they cheer loud for their guy. Nice straight punch. How is she standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Nice body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good body shot. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Big kick land. Back and forth we go. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Just unable to... Oh. Uh, she is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. There's no tell on that leg kick. 
Nice punch there. Some real power shots here. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without There's no give on that leg kick. Another strong combination for her there. All right, both women now continuing to try to get a more dominant position here in the clinch. I can hear Dominic Cruz just screaming underhooks. My ears are bleeding a little bit. Yeah, underhook, underhook, underhook. It's the key in that position. You gotta control the underhook to win offensively and control the underhook if you're trying to escape defensively. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. And there comes the separation now. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Both fighters throwing heat now. Fifteen seconds. Big kick. Again, back into this position. Second round here. Ooh, big shot lands. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. On your feet. And she caught the kick. Out of range with that right hook. Oh, she caught the kick. Oh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast when she throws. Beautiful. There, I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. That was a nice fight. And they set it. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, big left hook there. Able to check the high kick. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Most fighters in this division get knocked out by that strike. Near perfect execution. She found a little crack in the defense and found a home for that strike. Landed flush. And that is another one for the highlight reel, but few prettier than that one as she gets the big knockout win here tonight. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout, near-perfect execution, and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. So well, there is. she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent 